More than any other international event, Venice's Art Fair gives an insight into what artists are doing all over the world. It does so by inviting people to exhibit at more than 80 pavilions in the city. And since we don't have time to show you all of them, we chose just a few, including Mongolia. Here's what Miranda Atty found out. This is only the second time Mongolia has exhibited at the Venice Biennale. And getting here wasn't easy. The artists themselves also helped a great deal, um, you know, through donating their artworks that uh, we were also able to find more funds and uh, yes, so this year's project was even more greater experience than the previous one. And of course, the Biennale is always great to take a place and it's important to also mention our voice in the art scene. The pavilion is called Lost in Tungri, which means heaven. It questions Mongolia's future by exploring its past and present. Artist Chimadorj Shagdarjav donated sculptures from his work, I Am a Bird. Automatic weapons, shaped to look like birds, are migrating to paradise. This migration, or perhaps exodus, represents young Mongolians searching for lives outside their country's borders. Animals appear throughout Mongolia's pavilion. I was travelling around the Mongolia on the countryside. And I found all of these skulls in the countryside and it was a disaster there and it was a, like a mountain of animal shadows. The overbreeding of goats for Kashmir, combined with harsh winters plus drought, has killed millions of animals in Mongolia in recent years. I find materials and then I work. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, like uh, some sense of ritual, or it's like uh, you learning something from your work. And yeah, the skull symbolize for me the death. This national pavilion uses the work of five artists to explore a country at a crossroads. A country struggling with its identity as a nomadic nation with a rich history of shamanism and Buddhism and a new economic reality of globalisation. The work pits the old world of spirituality and herding with the new, mining, Kashmir and construction. These five artists are posing the ultimate question for Mongolians. What's in store for their country? Miranda Atti, TRT World, Venice.